Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details on to a cell molding process. So let us start with the basics about cell moldings. So basically, cell molding is an efficient and most economical methods of producing steel castings. So basically, that will be involving various steps to making a cell molding components. So let us see here that will be the heated patterns that will be used to making a cell moldings. So basically in case of the any casting process that will be making a pattern. So as from my requirement of the shape and size I would like to make a pattern. So basically in case of the making of patterns which will be made with a metallic materials. And here just you can see this one is our dump box. So basically dump box which will be filled with the mixture of the sand and a resin binder. Then just you can see that various steps is being involving for making a cell molding process. So later on we will discussing on to that. But basically this process first developed by Herr Kroning in Germany during the World War II and is sometimes referred to as a Kroning cell process. So now we will see the different steps is being involving for making a cell mold. So just you can see that will be the basic figures. So just you can take a dump box which will be filled with a sand with a resin binder. And the making of patterns with a metallic materials and that will be heated around 250 degree centigrade. And that will be fixed onto the top of the dump box. So just you can see in case of the making of cell molds. So a basic metallic patterns having the shape of the desired castings is made in one half from a carbon steel materials. Pouring elements is provided in the pattern itself. Then after the metallic pattern is heated is an oven to the suitable temperature range between 180 to 250 degree centigrade. The pattern then is taken out from the oven and sprayed with a solutions of the lubricating agents like a silicon oil or spirit to prevent the cell from sticking to the patterns. Then after the pattern is inverted and is placed over a box just you can see into the figure. The box contains a mixture of the dry silica sand or you can say zircon sand with a resin binder. So binder percentage that will be 5 percentage based on to the sand weight. Then just you can see into the next steps. So this hold the dump box which will be inverted. So the box is now inverted so that the resin sand mixer falls onto the heated face of the metallic patterns and due to that patterns which will be at higher temperature. So the resin sand mixer gets heated up, softens and sticks to the surface of the patterns. So these particles or you can say sand and binder particles which will be stick onto the this surface of the patterns and it will be makes a one kind of layers as from the requirements of the shape of that particular patterns. Then that will be the next steps. So one more times it will be inverted. So just you can see. After the few seconds, the box is again inverted to initial positions so that the lost resin sands mixer falls down, leaving behind a thin layer of the cells onto the pattern face. So most of the sand particles and uh, binders that will be fall by the inverting of this dump box. But the near particles which will be indirectly contact with the pattern materials. So it will be making the one kind of layers of the sand as well as the binder. So just you can see it will be making a cell as from the my requirements of the shape and size of the pattern. After this just you can see 
these cells that will be removed from a patterns with the help of ejector pins. So just you can see the pattern along with the cell is removed from the box and placed in an oven for a few minutes. So by this which further hardens the cells and makes it rigid. So that will be increasing the properties of the cell. Then the cell is stripped from the patterns with the help of ejector pins that are provided onto the patterns. After this, making a similar kind of objects or you can say cells to making the productions. So let us see the another cell half is prepared in the similar manner and both the cells are assembled together with the help of bolts, clips or glues to form a mold. The assembled part is then placed into the box with the suitable backing sand to receive the molten metal. So just you can see the figure. So this one is our cell number one and that is our cell number two. So just you can see both the cells which will be made with the similar steps and cells that will be assembled with the help of clamps. So by the makings of the this kind of arrangement with the help of clamps and just you can put into the flask. So this flask which will be filled with a metal. So this is the arrangement of the making a cell moldings. So some of the advantages of this process is that better surface finish and dimensional tolerance, reducing machining, Require less foundry space. Semi skilled operators can handle the process easily. Cells can be stored for extended period of time. So that is the most uh, advantage of this process. Then some of the limitations or you can say disadvantages like initially the metallic patterns has to be cast to the desired shape, size and finished. Second thing, the size and weight range of the castings that will be limited because of that will be the so many kind of movements that will be used to make the cell mold. Process generates noxious fumes, so which is having a hazardous to the operators. So if you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.